Hi guys, uh, we are doing chemistry for our first le uh, unit this um, this year, and um, we're going to try this where I teach a class um, online, and then we meet together and talk about different things that we had to do during the lesson, and see what's going on and where we're at, and what you've done, and what you've learned. Uh, so our first lesson is on introduction to chemistry. Um, let's see here, uh, things to do for lesson one, uh, there is a book uh, online that I've read and there's a video available, it's called Women in Chemistry, so listen to the audio book. Uh, there are three vocabulary words for this lesson, uh, chemistry, matter, and hypothesis. I want you to print out the vocabulary words and put them on your wall. You should have a science wall um, somewhere in your house where you guys can look and see all the different words that you're going to be um, using or different images or different um, ideas that you're going to need for uh, our chemistry lessons. So uh, we're going to, if you can print out the chromatography experiment, uh, watch the video and bring in your results and pieces of art with the chromatography experiment to class on Thursday. I um, want you to print out important people in chemistry and then I want you to cut it out, uh, look them out over. Um, we are going to be actually going over this, the chemistry, uh, important people in chemistry and your vocabulary. So you, before you move on, I want you to make sure that you have this Print it out, cut up, and ready to look at, and these three cut up and ready to be put on your science wall. Um, also, you'll see a Minecraft Education Edition here, and I do hope to, I will be uh, creating lessons and working with you guys on Minecraft Edu Education Edition. So make sure you have this. Um, or have it accessible, and also that um, I have your username so that I can invite you to Miss Holly's chemistry class. Make sure you have these before you continue this video. That's this here, the important people in chemistry and your vocabulary. So uh, in this unit, we will be studying the exciting world of chemistry, and I want you to think about uh, what comes up in your mind. What happens when somebody says chemistry? What do you think about? Do you, I don't know. I mean, at your age, I had no idea what chemistry was. Heck, I didn't know really what chemistry was until last year when I sat in on an eighth grade chemistry class and was blown away. And it was actually really fun and exciting. Um, at the end of this unit, you'll have a better understanding of the world around you and an appreciation for all of God's magnificent creations, from the grandeur of space to the things you interact with on your daily life, to the minuscule particles you cannot see. As you learn, you will realize how detailed and perfect God's work is. And that is so true, guys. I hope that you are so grateful. I know I'm grateful to be here today with you, as always. Um, so let's get your uh, vocabulary words out, chemistry and matter, and we're going to put them on your science wall if you don't already have them up there. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully, let me see. Oh, yes. Good. So chemistry um, is a branch of science that investigates the composition and properties of matter and how they interact. Matter is what everything around you is made of. Since everything around you is a part of chemistry, it is often called the central science. Chemistry is the study of matter and how the tiny particles that make up matter interact with each other. Chemists also study the properties of matter. For example, the color, weight, and the effect of temperature are all properties of matter. Matter is the word used to describe what everything around you is made of. All of God's creations are made of matter. Tiny particles of matter interact with each other to make the substances we can sense. Studying chemistry will help you understand how the world around you works. 
Hypothesis, an educated guess or proposed explanation for an occurrence that will undergo further investigation and testing. It is a part of the scientific method. So for this lesson, we're gonna be talking about important people in chemistry. I want you to get out your um, important people in chemistry cards and uh, we're gonna go through some of those people. So Democritus was in the 400s to 300s BC. Democritus was an ancient Greek philosopher who taught that the universe was made up of tiny innumerable par particles called atoms, originating from the Greek word atomos, cannot, meaning cannot cut. And let me see, I had gotten some more information about this guy here. He was also called the laughing philosopher, one of the two founders of ancient atomist theory. He taught that everything is made up of atoms and that they move about in an infinite void. He said, I'm going to, I have all these quotes here by some of these um, early chemists. Happiness resides not in possessions and not in gold. Happiness dwells in the soul. Nothing exists except atoms and empty space. Everything else is opinion. It is greed to do all the talking, but not to want to listen at all. Aristotle, I'm sh not sure if you guys have heard of him, <laughs> but uh, he's an ancient Greek philosopher uh, who believed that matter was composed of only four elements, air, water, earth, and fire. These four elements existed as dry, wet, hot, or cold. He did not agree with Democritus's view of the atom. Let's see, what did he say here? Those who know, do. Those who understand, teach. The whole is more than the sum of its parts. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. So I'm giving you uh, guys an idea of who these people are with some of their quotes or what are the things that meant something to them. These are quotes from them. And what do they mean? I want you guys to look at these quotes and try and think about, well, what could that person have possibly meant when they said these things? So you can pause this video along the way if you want to and, and try to think about it or write some of these down and put them up on your walls because some of these teachings, some of these insights that these uh, very educated human beings from our past have helped to create who we are today and how we think about thinking and how we think about chemistry or science or about being alive. So alchemists were people who tried to create gold with other metals and tried to find an elixir of life. While these attempts proved futile, alchemists helped pave the path of experimentation. Among others, Isaac Newton spent years of his life on alchemy. And if you guys read that book, Women in Chemistry, you would have seen that Cleopatra was also a, an alchemist. Uh, these are some alchemy symbol collection, some alchemy symbols for fire, water, air, earth, moon, death, life, Terra, which is Earth. Terra is actually the name of our Earth. Creation, salt, sun, salt, petri, I am not sure what that is. <laughs> Venus, Mercury, Mars, Uranus, lead, Neptune, arsenic, phosphorus, Saturn, sulfur, alkali, olive oil, and lead. If I have seen, these are uh, quotes by Sir Isaac Newton. If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people. 
To every action, there is always opposed an equal reaction. Hmm.